Let a and b be three by three matrices with the determinant of a equal to four and the determinant of b equal to eight. We're asked to compute the following determinants, which we will do using the properties shown here on the right. First, we have the determinant of the product of a and b, which is equal to the determinant of a times the determinant of b. which is equal to four times eight, which is 32. Next, we have the determinant of B inverse. The determinant of A inverse is equal to one divided by the determinant of A, and therefore the determinant of B inverse is equal to one divided by the determinant of B. And since the determinant of B is equal to eight, the determinant of B inverse is equal to one eighth. Next, we have the determinant of the product of A transpose and A. Because we have a determinant of a product, this is equal to the determinant of A transpose times the determinant of A. From here, the determinant of A transpose is equal to the determinant of A. So if the determinant of A transpose is equal to the determinant of A, we just have the determinant of A times the determinant of A, which is four times four, which is equal to 16. And for the last example, we have the determinant of 5B. Going back to our properties, the determinant of CA, where C is a constant, is equal to C raised to the power of N, where N is given by the dimensions of the square matrix times the determinant of A. In our case, the value of C is five, so the determinant is equal to five raised to the power of three, since A and B are both three by three matrices, we know N is equal to three and then we have times the determinant of B. Well, five to the third is equal to five times five times five, which is equal to 125. The determinant of B is equal to eight. 125 times eight is equal to 1,000. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found this helpful.